we offer three different master's programs. So one is called master's program in psychological research. And this is really for people who are interested in pursuing psychology more academically. So if you're interested in going on to PhD programs, um, then this is the one that will really help you prepare and become competitive for the more prestigious PhD programs. Hello everybody, my name is Araceli Gonzalez. I am on faculty here in the CSCLB Psychology Department and I am currently a member of the MAPR committee. Alright, so I chose to come to the MAPR program because I knew I wanted to get a PhD in clinical psychology at the time and I just needed more time and more resources to really flesh out what it was that I exactly wanted to do. Um, and get more experience with research as well as with advanced statistical methods. And this program really allowed me to achieve all of those goals and even advance how I feel about myself as a researcher and my future goals. So now after this program, I look forward to getting a PhD in clinical or community psychology. Sure, so the MAPR program has um, several required courses, um, including research methods, and um, certain statistics courses. And then beyond that, um, there are requirements, uh, but there's more flexibility in selecting those requirements. So there are some seminars that you can choose from in different disciplines within psychology. So for example, I teach a seminar in clinical psychology. There are also health psychology seminars, developmental, social, community psychology. Um, things like that and then there are a number of electives that students can take so this could be additional statistics courses or other um, you know courses within our department as well the other one is called uh, master's program in human factors and that's a very unique field, highly specialized, where people uh, will learn how to um, better understand and improve the interface between humans and technology. So my name is Dr. Gabriella Hancock. I'm an assistant professor here in the psychology department. I'm the director of the Stress and Technology Applied Research Laboratory and a member of the MSHF program committee. So I'm looking to go into the field of medical device uh, design and development with an emphasis on safety and security. And I really think that this program, with its um, focus on working in the laboratory and really getting hands-on experience with all of the avenues of, of research that will be useful for me later out in the workforce, um, getting to have that hands-on hands -on experience and lots of, there's multiple labs here, so you get to work um, with different measures, you get to work with different formats of research. Um, people who are interested in a career with regard to the design and evaluation of human machine systems. So that can be the design of jobs, workplaces, information systems, uh, and other technological systems. Uh, there's actually like a multitude of things that you learn here. Uh, Luckily with the faculty that we have, there's a lot of different approaches. We look at like cognitive processes, accessibility. We also go into like user experience sort of things, but also looking at safety and ergonomics. Uh, so there's a lot of different avenues that you can go to. The third one is called uh, Master's Program in Industrial and Organizational Psychology. And that one deals with um, understanding and improving the way that we run organizations in professional settings like you know, HR, as well as you know, improving um, teamwork and, and also well-being at workplaces. I'm Dr. Dave Whitney, and I am the chair of the Master's in Industrial Organizational Psychology program. The I.O. Master's program at Cal State Long Beach is intended to prepare students for an applied focus in um, businesses. Um, you can also become a consultant. Uh, it depends on which way you go. Uh, the program is very dynamic in the skills that you learn, um, and it can be applied to many different settings. So the ideal student for the MSIO program is a student that's going to be interested in applying psychological principles to understand work and organizations. And we are embracing the scientist practitioner model and all of our classes tend to have some component in which you're applying what you're learning in class in terms of your career. 
Uh, I would say the biggest benefit of participating in the AI program at Cal State Long Beach is how applied um, and how practical the program is. Uh, these skills that we learn in this program um, can be applied almost immediately. Many of us actually have internships and have gotten them within our first year, some of us even in our first semester. And so the skills are directly applicable um, and they can be used uh, in a wide range of settings. So those are just three master's programs.